Our friend Howard is back in town. Let's check in with him and see what's new. I did a series of paintings that I called the Giant Series, and uh, there's a recurring image of uh, a large gentleman of great proportions with a white beard and white hair who appears in the pictures doing different things. And for me, you know, even the paintings were called Giant Morning, uh, Giant Dreams, you know, Giant This, Giant That. And uh, with the figure, the male giant with the beard and the gray hair, I automatically thought, oh, yeah, it's a giant. Giant doing this, giant doing that. And then when I saw people see, people came to my studio and I'd get a little bit of uh, conversation going with them and a little input on what the painting says to them, all of a sudden I realized that what I viewed as a giant, they saw as God. I don't paint God, because I don't think God has, has a physical image. But uh, I was a bit surprised to see that instead of seeing a giant, they were seeing God. But I understand it, because in Western culture, God is who Michelangelo said he is. God, God, Michelangelo painted God in Adam, and Adam. His God had a white beard and white hair and was half naked. And in most of my paintings, my, my giant is with a white beard, white hair, and half naked as well. And uh, yeah, it, it showed me, it taught me that I, I can have, that's one of the reasons I stay away from doing political art, is that you can have an idea and somebody can come along and interpret it in a manner which is something totally opposed to what you were trying to say. There's a show I had in Haifa uh, at the beginning of the summer, a surrealism show. I was part of the surrealism show, and I'm standing next to my, one of my paintings talking to some people, and this woman comes up, and she's really, really excited by the painting. It's the cult of the personality. It's about, you know, uh, governments run by figures like Stalin, Hitler, Lenin, where the personality overwhelms the, the real politic. And uh, she's starting to interpret the painting, and I'm telling her, uh, actually, no, I, that's not what the artist meant. And she's telling me, what do you know? <laughs> it's very funny. But, um, and then when I said I'm the artist, she was rather embarrassed. But it was, an inter it was interesting to hear what she was coming up with. But it had very little to do with what my intentions were when I painted it. So yeah, I, I realized that once you finish a painting, you're sending your, your child out into the world. And um, you can't always stand there and say, no, he's a good boy. Some people will like your child, some people won't like your child. They will interpret your child and misinterpret your child. And, but, you know, the painting's out of my hands. It's, it's still mine, but it's not mine anymore. And people will do with it what they do with it.